are certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. See a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Something is happening. Back to basics, then. Well, that felt unsettling. Like we've plunged into a dream. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Reatha Sialfor, Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. My shield will not open. I expected to encounter here. Curious. <clears throat> Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice.
least you're not going in completely hobbled. Not permitted that way, it seems, and no way to pry it open. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. Well, at least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. I truly believe Freya would have aided us in this. Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding us. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past to face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. Oh, he forced it open. 
There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir. I think you've said enough. Ah. Right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. All right, General. Let's send you in properly prepared this time. First, Valhalla requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection. Let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. Please, Kratos, speak with my sisters before you venture back in. What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course, but varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities and Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. Step up to the gate when you're ready to proceed, and we can begin the ceremony. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. Leifa. Valhalla by this gate, without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Sigrun. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again.
New attempt. New choices to make. A fresh start. Say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. So, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok? Won it trying to save lives. With you on board... Mamir, oh. let us talk later. I need to focus. Please, concentrate. <laughs> I suppose this is about how you remember Jotunheim, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, I make her wield it alone. Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? <laughs>
this must be how you remember Sparklefight. Rhea knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in words, oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. Very good, very good. But not your death just now, but all the progress you made. Valhalla is a place of constant flux. Adaptability gives us a means to navigate the uncertainty. Every battle is an opportunity, right, General? And they say you can't buy self-improvement. A durable improvement!
You're coming along quite nicely, General. It's a pleasure to see your progress. Where is Freya? Away for the moment. As you know, she's attending to many things presently. Establishing a new governing body for the realms is no simple task. There are leaders to find and recruit, negotiations for sharing power. I'm sure she'd prefer to be here, but you'll have to make do with the three of us for now. I'm sure we're in excellent hands. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well-being. Combat can be clarifying.
One thing though, brother. When you said Freya didn't value you the way you value her, that came surprisingly close to resembling the language of unrequited love. You know better. An impossible pairing for any number of reasons. Just the same. It's obvious to any observer that you two care deeply about each other. Hmm. She is an important ally and a dear friend. Disappointing her is difficult. But what she asks of me, I... Makes you think she only finds you useful. I see. Well, I can't speak for her, of course. But if our adventures have taught me anything, it's that our connections are what matter most. So, forgive me for hoping you'll work it out. Seek a way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it. You 
really think he understands the things? No. This still feels reckless. Here they are now. That's odd. We're back outside, but we didn't... you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. From that point forward, throughout the rest of time, whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war.